postman is one of the fantastic tool especially if you want to test your api applications or in case if you want to design your own uh, apis and uh, for designing and testing purpose one can use postman as a tool especially if you are in the algorithmic trading environment and if you are uh, trying to test the algo apis then postman is one of the finest tool to test it so you can download the postman from uh, postman.com/downloads and uh, from here you can uh, click on the download option and you can go and download the uh, 64 bit in my case i'm downloading the 64 bit version what i'm going to show you here is i'm going to show you how to use the postman application and how to call the algo mojo apis basically postman supports uh, all the get request put request uh, and delete request so all sort of request are uh, can be tested using the postman tool and uh, the best part is that without writing a, not even a single piece of code you can test your api functionality so let's get into the session and let's see how we can use the postman tool to test your api applications So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to launch the Postman uh, Windows application which I downloaded. I had already installed in my machine. I'm going to launch this Postman application. So one best thing about the Postman application is that it is available in both the Windows as well as the online versions. So online version you don't need to download anything. Whereas the desktop application here is what I launched in uh, at this point of time. So I'm going to show you the list of our. request that you can send from the postman so you can use the get request put request so post request mostly algo mojo api uses most of the post request all the requests from the algo mojos are post request so i'm going to go to the algo mojo docs here i'm going to click on the place order function and from there you are seeing the api endpoint over here each and every functions can be called using the api endpoint if i want to send order i have to use this particular api endpoint for example i'm using the tragini uh, api endpoint for the place order over here so along with that uh, uh, endpoints i also need to communicate what are the information i have to send to the place order which is in the json format Uh, of course there are various ways i have to transmit in headers some of the cases i have to transmit in the authorization box so the headers and authorization the things are the one which are the major things whenever you are sending any post request so where you can send your api keys or api secret keys however in case of algo mojo how it is designed is that all the information all the json information you, uh, you can uh, select the raw and then from that i, I can select the json information that the request which i am sending to the algo mojo is in the json format you can see the json format over here which contains the api key api secret key and the trade details over here so at the same time i'm also going to log into the tradegeni algo mojo portal as well so i'm just log logging into the broker account i'm entering in my 2fa login credentials so once the login credentials are done Uh, i am securely logging into my own account what i'm going to do here is after giving the two fa credentials i'm going to use the api key and the api secret key over here so let me go to the my api section and from there i'll collect the api key and the api secret key i'm going to replace the api key over here simultaneously i'm also going to replace the api secret key as well So once you are done with that, now if you send the request, for example, I'm going to send the request for placing the NRML order for Nifty Twenty November future contract, uh, which is coming under NFO section. I'm going to place the quantity as seventy-five, where whichever the quantity you are sending, and uh, I'm going to send as a market order over here. Let me click on send. Automatically, the request is sent to the Algo Mojo platform, and that is converted into orders. you're getting the response also and the same as if we go and check in the order book you will be able to see that the order is placed under the broker account so you can also go to the code section where uh, they also provide ready made codes how to use those uh, apis how to send the raw details and if you want to uh, have a php code or a python code or even if you go want to go and use the node js code or node js native codes or something like that you will be able to or uh, use these codes to test from your coding perspective also how this code works 
so you will be basically having an uh, different variations in the uh, different types of coding um, formats are available over here you can also go to the history tab and you can check out the uh, list of uh, apis that you tested for the day and uh, definitely the postman itself right you can use this postman to test various stuff let's for example i'm going to try out one more thing uh, like the order book so i'm going to replace this place order with the order book over here all i have to do is that i have to go to the documentation go to the order book get the api endpoint for the order book let me copy this information and i'm going to post this information into the postman let me click on the postman again i'll go to the postman and uh, now I, what i have to do is i'll go to the body click on raw change the format into json format so json is the input format which is used to send any information to the uh, algomojo so i'm copying the request json from the algomojo documentation and i'm going to do what i'm going to replace the api key and api secret key so i'm going to replace the api key and api secret key of course this is a test account anyways uh, uh, it is uh, not a good idea to expose your api key and api secret key so i'm just replacing the uid which is the client id which is your broker client id once i send that now you can see that i'm able to fetch the order book details over here so hope you are able to understand how to use the postman maybe in the next video i'll come up with more interesting tutorials on how to use the web sockets thank you